So we're getting more information about Black Ops 6. So now it's officially confirmed. We've had some little things with the truth lies and a little bit of a website where it kind of shows you the different screen, uh, which is this. I, I know plenty of people have already made videos about this where it's the truthlies.com. You go there, you can change to the channels. They have some promotional footage uh, and you kind of look through it. It's more just like a hype stuff. As we can see kind of here with Charlie Intel's tweet, we got the cover art leaked and then it eventually got revealed. They started spreading all this information around different parts of the world. I think England, Germany, uh, there's all these different posts. Uh, and then we also have uh, this stuff inside the newspaper. So there's a lot of hype generation right now for Black Ops 6. I'm excited for Black Ops 6. I've always been a fan of Treyarch Call of Duties. Even Cold War, even though it wasn't the most hyped COD, I still enjoyed playing it quite a bit more than even something like MW2 that we had last year, which in my opinion is one of the worst Call of Duties we've ever had. The interesting thing is that now that Call of Duty is part of Xbox because they bought out Activision, um, they're gonna reveal more information on June 9th at the Xbox Game Showcase. And this is kind of predicted, but now it's officially confirmed um, that this is gonna happen live Sunday, June 9th at 10 a.m. Pacific time. And you kind of kind of adjust the time so you know what time that is. So pretty much we'll have the Xbox Showcase They'll probably talk about whatever games they have on the horizon, their game pass, and we'll go directly into a Black Ops 6 Direct. Uh, you can see right here, it says immediately following Xbox Game Showcase. So Call of Duty will have their own little section, which I'm hoping and looking forward in that they'll give a little bit of lore with the campaign. That's normal. I'm not really too concerned about that. But then maybe we'll see a little bit of their vision for multiplayer their vision for Warzone and their vision for zombies because we know that we're getting round based next year. Uh, it's just a matter of how that's gonna work with our open world format that we have now. And then Warzone, uh, there's been some leaks on how the movement's gonna be. It's supposed to be omnidirectional. If you're not really sure how that works, that just means that you'll be able to move in all different angles laterally. So it's super interesting on that end. On top of that, I also got some promotional material. A bunch of content creators did. Uh, I got a package with this and it comes with a little bit of a pager with which you guys can see here, right? And then on the screen, uh, it shows uh, some numbers. You use this cipher uh, and then you'll decode it. And when you, the number so far, there's only two, it's still early on. It says, keep this on you and the truth lies, which is kind of their whole like thing related to this. So I'm looking forward to the showcase. Uh, one thing I do want to point out, uh, there's an exclusive calling card. If you want to go ahead and link, uh, if you want to go ahead and check this out, all you do is link your Activision ID uh, to this, and then they'll send you the calling card. So there's a bunch of replies of people getting that so they can get the in-game reward. If you care about calling cards or you want something uh, that's particular particularly rare or whatever the case is. So I'm sure there's gonna be more promotional stuff about this. Obviously they're not gonna reveal anything until the showcase on June 9th. So we have about two and a half weeks because next week season four, and then the week after we'll get the showcase, which will hopefully show a ton of things. Let me know, what are your thoughts? Appreciate all the support. Thank you for watching as always, have a great day.